to you, take you through one or two things. I want to let you know that mathematics is very, very powerful. These days, without mathematics, you can't do anything. Almost everything you do is about mathematics. If you, when you are walking, you are you'll be doing mathematics. You'll be adding your steps. When you are eating, you'll be doing addition in your stomach and subtraction in the bowl. Footballers, when they are playing football, to give a pass, you need to apply mathematics. Almost everything you do is about mathematics. Yes. And I can say that mathematics is the easiest course on earth. Because 1 plus 1 is 2 everywhere in the world. When you go to UK, 1 plus 1 is 2. Wherever you go, 1 plus 1 is 2. Yes. When you go to France, 1 plus 1 is 2. Just that they will say uh, D. Yes. And D. So D is 2. Mathematics is not like English, whereby you can use an expression today and tomorrow the professors of English will tell you that this expression is outmoded. It is no longer uh, in use. You can no longer use it. Now, let me tell you a story. There was this student who feared mathematics so much. He was a very good student, but mathematics was his problem. Now, in the school days, in one of, of the examinations, mathematics examinations, these were the questions. So if you were to look at the questions, 9 times 1, you see you should write the answer, 9 times 2, 9 times 3, 9 times 4, 9 times 5. 9 times 6, 9 times 7, 9 times 8, and then 9 times 9. You ask, these were the questions. And when the student saw these questions, then he said, Oh, today too, am I going to fail? Because he realized that the questions were very tough for him. Then it was a two hour paper. And then he sat down, sat down, sat down, was not writing anything because he could not do anything. Then, when it was about five minutes to ten, then he remembered that any number multiplied by one will give you that number. So he said, okay. 9 times 1 will also be 9. So he was able to do this one. And then the later said, get ready to stop work. Then the guy said, oh, so am I going to fail again? If I fail, what will I tell my parents? Oh, then he said, okay. Now let me count the number of questions that I've not been able to solve. So that when I go home, I'll tell my parents that I could not solve this number of questions. Then he started counting by writing and then writing at the same time. So he said, Okay, I'm not going to be able to solve this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he said, Hey, eight questions. I could not solve eight questions. Then I'm going to fail again. No. Let me recount to be sure of that I'm not going to be able to solve eight questions. Then this time you started counting from down. Then you go to the eight. Then okay, let me check again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I said, hey. So indeed I'm not able to solve eight questions. Then the guy was just sad. He was just worried. And then the later said stop work. And he submitted his work. Now Viewers, you know what happened when the results were released. This guy had had 100% in the mathematics. Ah, he never understood it. He never understood it until he became a professor in the future. Then he took he just wrote the questions again. He said, ah, what 
this happening? I don't understand this. Why did I get 100% in that uh, course? Is it that the, 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 the teacher just gave the, the, the marks to me? So later, when you grew up and became a professor, you wrote the same questions and did what he did and realized that what he did were the, the correct answers. So viewers, let's check it. We can see 9 times 2 is 18, 9 times 3 is this, 9 times 4 is 36, 9 times 5 is 45, 54, 9 times 7 is 63, 9 times 8 is 72, 9 times 9 is 81. Viewers, the same thing. So you can see that there is power in mathematics. Nobody should be afraid of mathematics. Now, viewers, look on the board. I'm going to do something with this same thing. Look on the board. Look at my, my, my fingers. How many fingers do I have? I have 10 fingers. Now, if I say 9 times 1, if I say 9 times 1, this is what I'm, we are going to do. I will put down the first finger. I'm calling this one first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth. This one is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so if I say 9 times 1, it means put down your first finger. So 9 times 1, I'm putting down this one. Now, if you put down the first finger, count the number of fingers on the left-hand side of the one you have put down. So clearly you can see that the left-hand side of the one you have put down, you can't get a single finger there. So it is zero. It is zero. Now, how many fingers are on the right-hand side? Of the one you have put down, these are the fingers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the right hand side you have 9, so you have 0, 9. And 0, 9, 9 times 1 is 0, is 0 9, which is 9. Now, 9 times 2, this is the second finger. The finger, don't forget 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 9 times 2, I'm putting down the second finger. Now, when you put down the second finger, Count the fingers that are on the left hand side of the one you have put down and you can see that you have only one finger on the left hand side of the one you have put down. How many fingers are on the right hand side of the one you have put down? If you count, you see that you have eight. So the left hand side you have one and the right hand side you have four, eight. Nine times two is eighteen. Now nine times three, look on the board, look at me. I'm putting down the third finger. So if you put down the third finger, how many fingers on the left hand side of the one you have put down? Two fingers. How many fingers on the right? There are seven fingers. So 27. The same way the rest, you can just check. Now, for example, 9 times 6. I have to put down this finger, this one. When you do that, how many fingers on the left hand side of the one I have put down? Five. These five fingers. How many fingers are on the right, the right hand side? Four. 54. Now, Let's look at this one. 9 times 9. 9 times 9. It means I have to put down the 9 finger. Don't forget this is the 9 finger. So, if you put this one down, how many fingers are on the left hand side? Or the one I have put down? They are 8. 5 plus 3. 8. How many fingers are on the right? 1. So, 51. So, viewers, you have seen that there is power in mathematics. Nobody should be afraid of mathematics. Because this is... You don't do mathematics, you can't do anything, you can't go anywhere. Now, let me also, so let me play this one also, uh, uh, share this with you. Look on the board. Let's assume that you want to multiply uh, a number, a two digit number, by 11. For example, uh, 15. You have 15, you want to multiply it by, by 11. 15 times 11. Look on the board. Now, how do you go about this one? The, the normal thing you know is that 15 and then times 11. That's what most people have been taught. Then you see that this is 5, this time this 1, this time you write it here 5, this time this 1. Hmm? Then you add this. Yes. Now, if you don't want to waste your time, when you are multiplying any two digit number by 11, this is what you are going to do. Look on the board. This is 15. So this is what we do. Write 1 here and write 5 here. Now what is 1 plus 5? 1 plus 5 is 6. You just write it, the answer in the middle. 1, 6, 5. You see that we had 1, 6, 5 here. Let me, let's look at another example. When you have say, 
18 times 11. Are you seeing it? 18 times 11. So, if you don't want to just say 1 8. 1 plus 8 is what? 9. Just write it at the middle. So, it means that 18 times 11 is 1 9 8. So, this one is equal to 1 9 8. Are you seeing it? If I want to say 26. Times like any two digit number at all by 11. This is how you go about it. This one will be, I write two here, six here, add these two, and write at the middle 286. So this one is 286. So you don't need a calculator. Are you seeing it? Now, what about when you have something like this? So any two digit number at all. When you have something like this, let us do that. I have say 19 times 11. Now look on the board. If you open this like this, you are going to have one nine. When you add the two, you see, if you add the two, you are going to get ten. But if it is ten, you can't write it here. If the answer is a two-digit number, you can't write everything. This is how you write ten. So what you do is that you write zero here, remainder one, and then you add the one to this one to make two. Are you seeing it? So let me take this one again. You have one nine. One plus nine is ten. So what you do is that you write the two, you write the zero, and then remainder one. You add the one to this to become two zero nine. Are you seeing it? When you have something like this, maybe eighty five times eleven. Eight five. When you add these two, you are getting thirteen. So you write three here, and then remainder one. Add the one to this one, and that will give us nine three five. If you like, you can check it. So viewers, when you are multiplying any two digit number by 11, you don't have to do any calculations, however you are there. Right, isn't it? Even if the number is a, is a one digit number, for example, when you have say 7 times 11, you see that 7 can be written as 0, 07. So 0, 07, when you add 0 and 7, you are getting 7, you write it here. 0, 7, 7 is the same as 77. You see it? So when you are multiplying two digit number, one digit number by 11, this is how you go about it. So viewers clearly have seen that there is power in mathematics. So nobody should be afraid of mathematics. You should love mass. And if you love mass, you can go places. Thank you very much for your attention. For more of this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Chema Junior. Thank you very much.